Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Spencer McLaren, and I am one of the producers of Strange Bedfellows, the new musical. Now, Strange Bedfellows, the new musical, is of course based on the hit film of 2004 that starred Paul Hogan and Michael Caton. This is very much our story, it's our sense of humour, and it's set in our own backyard. Ralph Williams and Vince Hopgood, the two heroes we follow in this show, have been best friends since school. Now, Ralph and Vince very quickly find themselves trying to find a solution to one hell of a tax problem, thanks to the manipulations of Vince's bitter ex-wife. At the same time, you have the newspaper headlines proclaiming same-sex couples, equal rights, tax breaks. Vince thinks he sees the answer. Now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you tonight our Vince, Peter Cousins singing When My Glass Is Full. Gonna get back on the straight and narrow Keeps a coke pot in my barrel Bunch me straight to the bow and narrow Till my glass is full And I got the answer in my hand I'll back my car and I'll make a stand up No more worries in that grand up When my glass is full I got some plans and passion burning Want to see my nerve returning Bring some full with I this journey Till my glass is full John Wood, Now, John, you've had quite a stellar career that's, that's covered almost all mediums. This is not your first musical, is it? No, it's not. I, uh, I've done a few musicals, actually. I, I did the original Australian uh, production of Chess in Sydney, and uh, I was recently in My Fair Lady, um, not playing Eliza. <laughs> playing a father, um, but I, you know, I've done a few musicals, and, but none of them, I have to say, as funny or as moving as this one. I, I really love this show, and I'm sure you will too. Now, Peter, if I can have a quick chat to you for a moment. We're talking about playing the Phantom in the West End, and here, original cast of the Phantom and Lane Miz. What gets you excited when you think about Strange Bedfellows? Don't say me. <laughs> 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 Took the words right out of my mouth. John Wood, for one. <laughs> Secondly, um, we actually had to stop on a number of occasions in Aubrey to allow the, the laughter to abate. You know, after 30 years, this has only happened to me, I think, on three occasions. Now I'd like to rejoin the story as uh, Vince is trying to persuade Ralph that registering the same couple really is a good idea. Financially, I've had the shop, mate. This could be my chance to really get on top, mate. Get on top? What a plan. What a thing. I'm a man. I'd be the chick. Ralph, Ralph. Ralph, mate. you got to trust me. It's our way out, you see. I feel sick. Ralph, mate. you got to trust me. Get your bloody hands off me. There will never be a couple like us. Ralph, a stable couple, you see. Ralph, mate, gotta trust me. We're about to introduce you now to Miss Melissa Layton and Lucy Jurek. Uh, now, Melissa, I'll start with, with you. Yeah. Now, you play Ronnie. That's right, I do. Do you want to tell us a bit about Vonnie? Well, I love Vonnie because I don't know um, if anybody's seen the stuff I've done before. It's really big and really broad. But Vonnie is something a little bit different. She's a really real character. She's extremely real and likeable, as opposed to the broad <laughs> roles that I've been playing for the last couple of years. And she's, of course, a love interest for Vince, which goes there, because she's not been so lucky in love. Being very unlucky in love. Actually, this is my this is the first role I've ever played where I've had an on I was gonna say on screen, on stage romance. And she's oh. a great kisser. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's a tell. It's a tell. It's a tell. <laughs> now, Lucy, you're playing Faith yep. in the show. Do you want to give us a little snippet about, about what we can expect from Faith? Well, I guess Faith is one of those people who, when you first meet her, she's a gossip and she's a busybody and she's pretty annoying, but when, when you get to the heart of her, she's a good person and she means well. She's got a funny way of going about it. But, um, but I, think, I, think, I think, like, all the characters in this show, it, it revolves around heart. And I think Faith does have a good heart. Um, but, yeah, in amongst... She has some funny things that happen along 
away. She's just a little bit annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, we'll be hearing a little bit more from, uh, from Melissa. John Foreman was pitching for Strange Bedfellows and he asked me to sing a song for him. It's my big number. Hi, it's 